hi everyone welcome again to my channel so i'm so excited to be making this video because i'm going to be participating in the single seed challenge 2022 and i'm going to be growing something really special in a plastic bottle so if you're sitting and wondering what exactly is the single seed challenge why am i using a plastic bottle and what are these seeds that i'm talking about just give me a minute let me explain it to you <laughs> Hey, it's me again, Germain from Switzerland. So what is the Single Seed Challenge? What is the Single Seed Challenge 2022? The Single Seed Challenge was started a couple of years ago. I think it was about three years ago by a gardener in the USA called Scott Head from Black Gumbo Southern Garden. And it's an initiative that basically calls on gardeners around the world or anybody who you know is interested in growing something to select one single seed and follow the development of that seed throughout the season right so this initiative this initiative wants anyone who is interested in growing something to choose one single seed and follow the development of that seed to learn to try to understand to take a break and appreciate more what nature has to offer among the many plants that we have among all those plants to take a minute and follow the development of one single seed so okra is not very common around here which is why i was so happy to find it at the garden center a few days ago and i thought i need to i need to get it and i'm going to grow one seed out of this whole packet because i have so many okra seedlings already waiting to be planted in the garden so how am i going to do it i'm going to be starting my seed in a plastic bottle those of you who watch my videos know that i'm fond of using plastic bottles to start some of our seeds and to transplant some of our seedlings i find that plastic bottles have so much space and can be utilized as mini greenhouses to start some seeds and to house seedlings that may require a little more humidity as they start their development process. So right now I'm utilizing lots of recyclable plastic bottles to transplant some of my seedlings like tomatoes, peppers and okras. So let me show you how I'm going to be uh, sowing my okra seed in a plastic bottle. So for this process, we're going to need some plastic bottles and we need to make sure that we use plastic bottles that result from uh, things that we consume like juices and water. We need to make sure that the bottles are clean to begin with. Next, we're going to make a cut around the middle part of the, of the bottle, making sure that we keep the top bit of it attached to the bottom part if we're utilizing the bottle in full length. If we sow seeds, it's okay to just use seed starting soil. But if we're doing uh, seedlings, we might amend the soil a little bit and add some compost. Make sure that the, the soil is rich enough for a uh, seedling to, to be able to grow in properly. So all I've added to my soil here is some perlite to help retain the moisture. So once your soil is ready, what you want to do is to put some of that soil inside the bottle. So the okra that I found at the Swiss uh, Garden Center is a green okra. And the stats on the seed package says that we, we have enough seeds to grow about 25 plants. And that uh, we want to start the seed sowing indoors in March. So okra is a warm temperature loving crop. And for that reason, they specify that we might want to wait until May before we can move the plants or the seedlings outdoors. And they project that the harvest is going to be around August, September, or even October. So we're going to have to wait and see. With my soil now ready, that will be my seed right there. And I'm going to be putting it, putting it inside. There we have it. We have the okra seed planted inside the bottom. I'm going to be pressing that down a little bit. The okra seed is quite firm, so uh, there's no fear to, to damage it or anything like that. It's going to be just fine. And remember guys to put the holes at the bottom of your, of your bottle. So once I have the, the seed planted and everything, what I'm going to do is to seal the bottle, the opening, and I'm using a clear tape to do that. Just wrapping it around the area where we made the cut. 
and that's it right there and the last thing to do is to label it so we remember exactly what is inside <laughs> i'm going to call this the swiss okra and today is the 17th of feb 2022 the single seed challenge so there we have it so now if you're wondering how um what is going to happen what is going to happen is that you start seeing your seed develop and move to this stage this is a, a younger okra seedling that i have going on here and then and then your seedling is going to grow maybe you'll reach like this and at this time at this point you might want to to cut up to cut off the the top of the bottle just like i did here as you can see here this one is already calling for more more space so i'm going to be cutting off the top of this bottle I've just removed the top bit of the bottle and the okra is now free to uh, to grow out of the bottle. So that's how it's going to go until when the stages reaches, uh, when we reach the stage of planting the, the, the seedling outdoor. So guys, here it is. I have my okra in the plastic bottle and I'll be following that throughout the season. This particular okra is always going to be really special to me. I can't wait to see what um, what is going to be the result of this. I hope it bears plenty of okra fruits. And at the end that I get to make um, my mother's um, okra, okra soup recipe that I'll be sharing with you guys. So let me know what you think in the comment box. Let me know what you plan to grow this season. Let me know if you'll be participating in this single seed challenge and what you think of this video, what you think about uh, growing things in plastic bottles. So I hope you liked the video. I enjoyed making it and sharing it with you. Um, thanks so much for watching and see you in our next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> so before we go, I just wanted to mention that after you've planted your seed, it's very important to provide it some light. I've put my uh, okra and other uh, seedlings here on a windowsill. And I do have a few okra uh, seedlings growing here, but I also have lots of girlfriends who are also looking forward to receiving some okra seedlings. So these are not going to be just for me. And if you're in Switzerland and you'd like to have one of these okra seedlings, please do reach out. Bye-bye.